You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love, O Sacred Heart, O Lord. May our hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O Living Bread from Heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble, you died on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise, for you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people, that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be open and they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops. Especially, we pray for Archbishop Brown. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And Lord, we pray for Barb. Have mercy on her, O Lord, and strengthen her in all goodness. Don't pour your Holy Spirit upon her, O Lord, and keep her close to you at all times. We pray that you hear her prayers, O Lord. And together with Barb, 
we pray for her son Jeff that he may be able to uh, make it in uh, his uh, job uh, that he be able to uh, ride his bike safely to and from work and that he may be emotionally uh, sound we pray for her other son Dave and for his wife Nicole that you will bless their marriage that the marriage be stronger solidified by your love and solidified by your guidance every day of their lives so that they can uh, raise their children in a in a solid family foundation they have two little sons one eight and one three uh, they're in the process of uh, or have moved to California I believe and uh, we pray that they be able to adjust to their move sacred heart of Jesus in thee we trust and we also pray for those who are sick especially those who suffer from cancer lupus multiple sclerosis diabetes autoimmune diseases mental health problems drug addiction or any other form of addiction we pray for the homeless the poor the unemployed and the oppressed we pray for an end to domestic violence an end to the abuse of women and children and an end to abortion we also pray for Ida and her family Lord bless them protect them guide them and strengthen them in all goodness that your Holy Spirit will be upon each and every member of the household so that they will be strengthened and guided by you we pray this in your name Jesus Amen and Lord we also bring to you the special intentions for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus Lord we pray that when we come together for prayer we may pray in the Spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, we pray that you bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray, according to your will, that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send? to proclaim your message of salvation into the world. Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon you servants, gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty, Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us 
that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you a sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that your most merciful heart be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, Grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. <clears throat> this concludes today's morning prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope you'll be able to join us tomorrow. I mean, actually, cor correction, it's not evening prayer, it's morning prayer, that you will be able to join us today for afternoon and evening prayer. And that you will be able to join us tomorrow and throughout the week as we do these prayers every day, three times a day, God willing and technology allowing. If for some reason we're not broadcasting live on a particular day when you want to do, say, morning prayer, all you have to do is go back to the previous day or the day before, look for the morning prayer for that day, and use that prayer because the prayers that we use are liturgical in nature. So it's the same basic structure. The only thing that changes is the section where the prayers of the people go. And in that section, uh, you can use whatever prayers you have for yourself, friends, family, anyone who might be in need of prayer, you can insert those, those prayers there as you're praying along. If you want to follow, if you want to follow along the prayers, uh, you might want to get a copy of the Daily Prayers for the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. You can get that from our website by going to sacredheartjesus.org. That is sacredheartjesus.org. And uh, go to the Contact Us form uh, and request a copy using that form. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the morning and I'll see you later.